Hey, North Redondo Beach, this is your real estate market update for the month of December. So last month we had 25 closed sales, 17 new listings, and 13 pending sales. So if those numbers seem low to you, it's because they are. We have less listings and less sales in November and December every year. That is totally normal. When we hit the first of the year, homes will start coming back to market and we'll see those numbers increase. The month supply in North Redondo Beach is 1.5 months, which means there are still more buyers than sellers. If we had no more listings starting tomorrow, it would only take us one and a half months at today's current rate of demand to buy up all the listings in the area. The average days on market is 35 and the median days on market is 20. So homes now are sitting just a little bit longer than they were before. It makes sense once we hit the holidays in November and December, homes tend to sit a little bit longer, especially if they're not priced aggressively to sell in this market. The sales price as a percentage of the original list price is 96.6%. So many listings are selling for beneath their list price. You can kind of see those two things add up in that median days on market and that average days on market being a little higher. Homes are sitting a little bit longer, which means they're selling for a little bit less. Generally, those two things work together. The average sale price this year has been 1,390,000, whereas the average sales price this time last year was 1,470,000. And that gives us a negative 5.5% basically. And now we've seen three out of four months uh, in the negatives year over year in price changes, which is really interesting because last year, 2022, home prices came down the second half of the year in the area. And this year we expected home prices to continue to rise, therefore create a positive spread there. But we haven't seen that. However, home prices really haven't come down all in all in the area. It seems to be that there are less higher priced homes selling, therefore the average is down. And you can see that in terms of the sales of homes under a million dollars. There really haven't been that many homes under a million dollars that have sat or haven't sold this year, whereas last year those were sitting and not selling. So those homes are eaten up quickly and there aren't many that are even available under a million dollars. So that baseline has increased in order to get into the area. If you're a buyer looking into the area and I'm telling you home prices have come down between last year and this year, you'd be like, what are you talking about? I have nothing to buy under a million dollars. It's because that baseline has risen. However, that average has stayed right there in the middle. We had more higher priced home sales last year. But this will be really interesting moving forward because interest rates are coming down right now. They're now at 6.5%, whereas 21 days ago they were at 8%. That will bring significantly more buyers into the market starting this week, next week, and then January 1st especially. So I expect with all these buyers that have been sitting on the fence coming back into the market because we expect rates to continue to go down, then that means the buyers will come back in and these prices will rise rapidly at the start of next year. So if you're a buyer watching this video, thinking about purchasing, now is the time to get into the market. Now is the time you can buy at the decreased price, knowing that with rates coming down next year and rates already down this year with the increased demand, that home prices in January, February, March, April, May of next year will significantly increase. So you can get that lower price by purchasing now lock in your interest rate, but you can always change your interest rate by refinancing. So June, July, August, September of next year, when rates are lower than they are today, you've already locked in your perfect, amazing price, and now you can lower that payment. So that is the strategy moving forward right now for buyers. Call me if you need help with that or you wanna talk about specific numbers for it. If you're a seller looking to sell here in 2024, well, it behooves you to purchase that home sooner rather than later for the same uh, reasons I just gave the buyers on your next home and then sell your home whenever you get a chance. The longer you wait to sell it, the more opportunity you will have to get a higher price. But obviously, uh, most of us can't wait forever. So that's a scenario as well, how to buy and sell at the same time or buy, hold, and sell later. How to do those things the most efficiently so you lose the the least amount of money in the exchange is something that you can call and talk to us about here in the South Bay. I'm Garrison Comstock. I own Garrison Team Real Estate here in the South Bay in North Redondo Beach. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really looking forward to helping all of you navigate this market in 2024. It would be my honor to be your real estate guide. So give me a call, shoot me an email, garrison at soldbygarrison.com. Really, really happy to help and I'll see you next time. Have a happy holiday.